This is the CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart, one of the largest motorhome and campervan fairs in the world. And I'm gonna show you around the motorhome selection from Foster. Now I'm gonna try and keep this uh, expose to 12 minutes or under. Uh, and so that means we're gonna be moving through pretty fast because there's quite a lot of vans. This thing here, 54,000, it's seven meters in length. Uh, I want to show you uh, a rough idea of what you can expect if you come to something like this or indeed if you're looking for a van yourselves. Now, uh, Foster's meant to be a cheap brand of automobile. The brand was founded around 2013, 2014, something like that. And uh, one thing I noticed as I'm coming through here is that it does have a very nice look to it. Although I see here it's got a bit damaged there and that's, poss that's possibly caused at the trade fair. Somebody with a heel maybe. And uh, okay, I tend to notice uh, minor things like that. Of course vans uh, do get damaged at uh, events such as this and that's why um, uh, sometimes they don't allow you to mess around with them and that's understandable. Now for such for a cheap brand, sorry cheap, it's not cheap, I know what I mean, it's a, it's a fortune uh, type of cash, but for a relatively cheap, you've got a really nice uh, van here, it looks very clean, fresh, um, looks quite good. So it takes 649EB, EB means Einzel Bedden, uh, single beds, they're always joinable in this here, 53,380 for this six and a half meter long van. Now, depending on where the beds are, is, is what we have for the, the garage, and the, that will affect storage, just bicycles and things like that, if you wanna carry a bicycle around with you. 55,000 euros, this is 649 centimeters long, but what this has is an unusual design in a motorhome of this type. This is something brand new, I think, in this brand. You've got a motorhome with a rear lounge. A rear loungers seem to be making a comeback. Another point of the rear lounges, they've got a bed up there. The bed will come down electronically. I can't demonstrate it because I haven't got the key. You might think, well, bringing the bed down is not really, but not necessary. You could make a bed out of the table and, and the and the cushions, because at the end of the day, you know, the bed up there, you've got to take the covers off in any case. So that would be a reasonable argument. That would knock the price down by a fair bit, and uh, that would give you uh, perhaps uh, a little more headroom. So this is effectively a three-person van. Got a second bed in here. Where's that? Well, once more, it's up here. And that comes down using the key as well, which I don't have. I have to say though, I think the kitchen looks very good. Got your... Uh, boiler down there which has been sort of well hidden. Now you may have noticed the garage as we walk past the garage is effectively just under the rear seats. Right, big garage here, huge one. This thing here is uh, 56,137 and a half meters or seven 741 centimeters, let's see, in length bed up there. Huge amount of space down here. There's a lot of floor space up here. What I call a German layout. Now I've got to say for in this price category, although it is slightly more expensive than these brands, uh, I've got to say this does look quite good. So if I want to compare it to the equivalent in Etrusco, PLA, uh, Sunlight, I'd have to say that this one here 
is to my eye from a cosmetic point of view this looks nicer but I did say from a cosmetic point of view right so there could be other things to do with the infrastructure which those other brands have better I also really need to stress that you know when I'm showing you things it is the cosmetic bits and it's not the bits that really really matter what the things that really matter are it's, uh, the the insulation the uh, chassis uh, they're the things that will uh, these things what what it's made out of uh, this sort of thing GFK what's that in English is GG GP um, reinforced GRP GRP in English that's it uh, uh, for the uh, um, for the roof for the the walls the uh, the floor the and there's no wood in the walls uh, pretty important things five-year guarantee on water ingress now some models offer you ten years now queen bed at the back You can close the door here, the other side closes as well, and should close as well. It's supposed to close as well, oh, so everything's been going so well. Well, oh no, it's okay, I'll try it on the other side. There you go, the other side closes as well. There you go, so you can close the bed off like that. Lovely big table. Stacks of room in this one. Right, that will cost uh, 56,000 uh, euros and it's 741 centimeters in length. Now, this one, he's got a huge garage. It's uh, 741 also. Uh, 235 wide, 295 high, 62,670. I mean, so far for me, I like best the queen bed. I think I'm on target for uh, uh, for the time. <laughs> right, cab over. This thing is a uh, 54,000 seven meter long van. Problem with the cab over, you've got these rear facing seats, uh, which in my opinion is totally, uh, totally pointless. You've got wasted space up there as well, although it is quite high up. You've got this fantastically large area for, for the kitchen very big fat fridge double-ish bed here it seems and that the bed this one here will go up and down so you won't need it higher any more room in the garage you can uh, you can do that Take into the garage thing as I mentioned the uh, adjustable height. Well, there's the way of winding it up. Wind it up there, you can get more room uh, should you need it. Six hundred and forty six four nine SB, uh, semi integrated, six and a half meters long, uh, fifty three and a half thousand euros. bed up there and side bed here that's a bit of decoration that it doesn't come with the van probably
And now we come to the very last one. Uh, it has a more unusual shape, sort of funny shape you get from Trigano. 741 VB, 741 centimeters in length, 235 width, 320 in height, it's a cab over, 55,000 euros. You got a bed up there, and see, we'll see it from inside. Bed goes up, up there, space up there, two uh, bunks at the back, huge amount of storage in here. Look at all that, it's probably, you've probably got that much in your house, don't you? So, and uh, separate toilet and shower. Right, so, uh, that's the Foster range of motorhomes and you can see the camper vans in a, another video. I hope you found that of interest. I did it within 12 minutes and uh, so, uh, so I think I've done all right with that one. If it was a bit quick, I'll try and do these things in more depth. I mean, it is a bit difficult doing these things in more depth. Uh, getting access to the equipment when there isn't you know music blaring out which has co is copyright protected so obviously I can't film it then and uh, otherwise I mean